<laughs> well, thanks, buddy. Um, no pressure there. And then obviously I've got added pressure because I see that my mom is on this Zoom. So um, I'm like, okay, hold on. I wasn't nervous before, but now, you know, but I guess uh, mom will love me no matter how we do. So um, hi, mom. Love you. Um, I didn't know you are coming on, so that's awesome. Um, so guys, I just want to say a quick thank you for, for just taking 10, 15 minutes this morning. We know everybody's busy and we value your time. And, uh, you know, we've been breaking these up in chunks as far as doing these sessions and get in front of the people that matter the most to us. And, uh, you know, we find doing them in these small groups is, is the most beneficial and uh, appreciate all you guys coming on today. And so welcome. We launched the company a month ago, which I cannot believe it's actually been six weeks. And, um, you know, I'm happy to report things are going great, and I just want to kind of dive into, you know, the name of the company is Bison Ventures and Form Mortgage Lending, and one of the biggest questions that we keep getting is why Bison, right? And I can tell you that naming a company is just as challenging, if not harder, than naming your kids. Um, and some people are going to love the name, and some people are going to question the name, and that's okay. You have to be okay with that. And uh, I want to give you the quick why on Bison. So. We, we thought long and hard about what is this new brand going to be, um, right? We were in the process of rebranding the Crawford team and trying to think through like what's our next, what's our next level? What's the next thing that we want to accomplish? And um, the, the chaos of the mortgage industry always comes to my mind. And my team knows this intimately that we're always talking about how chaotic the, the, just the, the process in general is. And you really can't perfect it. You can try. We've tried for years. But really all you can do is manage the chaos the best that you can with systems, efficiencies, and having really great people that care to help you maneuver through it. So as we thought through that, we wanted a strong name. And I started thinking about this, this you know, fact that I knew uh, that some of you might be aware of. And I didn't realize how many people knew this until we started talking about it. I thought it was kind of a, one of those things most people don't, don't know. Um, but the bison's the only animal that runs directly into the storm. You know, unlike its cousin, the, the cattle, which run away from a storm to, for safety, the bison run directly into it because they figure the faster they take it head on and get through it, the, the less damage and the quicker they're done with it. So that's kind of how it clicked one day driving to my truck and I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. That already aligns with things we've been telling our internal team for years. And I love the name bison. I think it's strong. It's American. And those are things that, uh, you know, are value, we, we take high value on, on our, on our side. So, um, the other quick thing is, you know, we, we, we went back and forth, Bison Mortgage, Bison Financial, Bison Ventures, and we kind of thought that not naming it something specifically mortgage gave it sort of this allure that um, would you know, provoke people asking questions and why and I don't understand and what's that mean. And you know, venture is a, a, a daring and, and risky undertaking or journey, and that's what we felt like this was to some degree. So for us, it resonated personally and, and we went with it. And, and don't think for a second, we didn't have many sleepless nights where we all called each other and said, are we sure with this? Should we go back to this? And we just had to go with our gut and roll with it. And, uh, and it's exciting and it's fun. So that's the shortest version of how we came up with the name. I hope that makes sense. Um, what you're seeing on your screen right now are, are, are my two partners and, and, and best friends. And frankly, be able to do something with your friends and people that you love um, is really the most special thing about this. And you know, Ryan and I have been working together for a long time. Ryan's been pivotal in growing the Crawford team um, and our brand and strategic relationships and really just providing us the, the opportunity to help even more people. And so you know, I love Ryan for taking a chance on me a long time ago. And I know for a long time, him and I talked about what if we rebranded? What if we just got rid of Crawford on the front door, so to speak, right? And what if we could open this up for more opportunity for more people? And it just, it didn't seem like it was about us from a forward facing marketing standpoint. And that's kind of where this started. And him and I talked through that for a couple of years. Uh, and then Jeremy, our chief operating officer, is one of my best friends I grew up with. We've known each other for a long, long time. Uh, easily one of the sharpest guys I've ever met. I know Ryan can attest to that and has a heavy, heavy banking and finance background. And we'd talked for years about, you know, what if? What if we could run a business together or just work together? And what would that look like? And uh, just like anything, sometimes those conversations don't ever go anywhere. And uh, there was a window of opportunity a few years ago where uh, I, I thought this is it. Like if we're going to take a chance and really have a real conversation about this, I think we should do this now because we're not getting any younger. And um, 
I guess I could say he took the bait, and uh, here we are for better or for worse. So thanks, buddy, for, for, for also taking a chance on us, and, uh, and I'm super excited about it. So these guys are amazing, and I am very blessed to be able to have extremely smart, talented, strong people around me, uh, in addition to the rest of our team who has always been our bread and butter and helped us kind of move forward. So um, that gives you just a little bit behind the name and, and who we are. The, um, the other big question is why, Stuart? Why are you doing this, you know? What's the point? Um, and that one actually has been easy to answer. And these are the three things that, that we kind of came up with early on when we, when we knew we wanted to do something different. Um, and that was regret, control, and legacy. And I'm just going to hit these very, very quick. Um, you know, the control one, of course, is we just wanted to have a little bit more control over our process, feel a little bit more like a speedboat so we can make changes when necessary. Um, and, you know, we're all about delivering the best customer service experience we can and also delivering a great experience to our employees and our staff because they're everything to us, right? So I want them to have the best possible lives they can have too. So how can we get more control over some of that? Uh, and that was just one small piece there and I think everybody can relate to that. The legacy one was huge. Um, we, again, this goes back to rebranding, just the simple rebranding of our team, of our old team name, right? It's, this can't be about my last name on the door anymore, right? Let's open this up for more opportunity for more people. And really let's make this about us, right? Everybody that's involved with us, our clients, our partners, our team. I want everybody to feel like this is ours and we are building this together. This is not just about Stuart, right? And that's something that I, I feel very strongly about. And I'm really excited to sort of let that go and, and do this a different way. And the final one is regret, which is one that I know pulls on uh, a lot of our heartstrings as far as the guys and I. Um, you know, I, I just had this feeling, and I know we shared this, that you know, someday if I were sitting on my rocking chair as an old man just thinking back on what I'd done in my life and what I hadn't done, I just had this pit in my stomach that if I didn't try this, try something different, that I knew I would regret it. So I'd rather try and fail than not try this at all. And I'm really, really proud of us for, for getting even to this point. And we don't know what the future looks like, but that's okay, right? So um, we can be honest about that. So regret was a huge one, and that's, that's a big piece of why we did this. Um, this is probably one of the most exciting pieces of the whole thing. Those of you that know my specific story, I've been at VIP Mortgage since the day it started. There was 10 people there, right? So in some ways, I can, I, I can, I, I've seen the movie play out over 15 years on how this company was built. And my partners at VIP, who have been my mentors and great friends for a long, long time, um, I knew that doing something like this, my non-negotiable was how could I do this in conjunction with my current family at VIP because for so many reasons, right? Um, and those conversations started and it was great just to know that yes, we're gonna figure this out, we're gonna put something together, we're gonna build our own brand and our own entity within the VIP family of companies and VIP is our partner in Bison Ventures, which is awesome, right? It gives us a great foundation. It takes a lot of time to build the relationships and the resources, frankly, for people on the operational side and everybody that helps make a mortgage company tick and just a mortgage process happen from A to Z. There is so much involved and I think a lot of you would be surprised that aren't on the mortgage side, how many buttons we push, how many levers we have to pull just to get a loan from A to Z. Um, and so to be able to continue to access those relationships and have those people help us and something that's been really validating guys I have to tell you is you know, you're always fearful when you, when you go through change, right? And um, you don't know how people are going to perceive it. And in every conversation I personally had with uh, all of our friends and partners at VIP, they all were excited for us and so happy they got to continue to have a relationship with us and work with us in some capacity. And, and that really helped fuel us to go, okay, this is exciting. And they, they want to keep working with us. This is awesome. So, um, so I won't go too much deeper on that, but that's a huge part of this. So I want everybody to understand um, and it's all the same people. Our whole team, our whole personal team came over. Nobody said no to us, which was great. Thank you guys. Um, and, and uh, you know, that's been exciting. So what kind of mortgage company are we? Um, we are the exact same mortgage company setup and model that I've been in my entire career. So I'm 20 years in this business, which is a little bit scary to say out loud. And I've always been in a mortgage banking correspondent model, which basically just means we control the process from A to Z. Any of you guys out there that work with us already kind of know this. It's our processors, our underwriters, our entire 
people all the way through. We do have our own warehouse lines at Bison Ventures. We are funding our own loans, so we control the back end piece as well. So all of that works the same. So that gives us autonomy. It gives us various pricing and products that we can offer a vast array because we're selling these loans to various servicers post-closing. We've got over 20 different servicers we're selling loans to. Um, and you know that was exciting to get all those approvals in place and make sure we didn't skip a beat once we made this transition because that was very important to us, which was let's make a transition and make it as seamless as possible, not only for our clients and our partners, but for our team as well, right? So we made sure everything was in place before we did this and it was a long process. I mean, this was about a, 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 a over a year of boots on the ground, building blocks, putting this together. Um, so it's exciting to be sitting here and, and talking to you guys about it. Um, and of course, you know, local decision making, all the things you guys have been used to. So same business model, just wanna make that clear. We're not a mortgage broker or anything like that. Same thing that everybody's been used to. Um, when you go through this kind of a process, you always have to think through like, what's the category you're going to own, right? Are we going to, what are we going to be? And you know, the signature five-star service is what we always had in the past. And you know, we doubled down on that and we want to own informed lending. Um, it's a hands-on approach, it's consultative, it's educational. We want to have the heart of a teacher, right? These are things that we've talked about and preached in our business for, for a decade. And so we just want to double down on that. It's not rocket science, right? But it takes people with high care factor. It takes people that want to help other people every day. Um, and I can tell you right now, in the market that we're in and the market that we're going into, the hand-holding is going to go through the roof. It's already been very important, but it is going to go through the roof, and we have to really focus on this because emotions are going to get high. Um, you know, there's nobody right now buying a house saying that's the house for the price that I wanted, right? So, so it's emotional and we have to be there for people, right? We can't treat people as a number. So this is one in particular that I feel very strongly about has always been a core of our business and we've got to consult and help people. Um, even if that means we don't do the loan, maybe we send them somewhere else for some odd reason, but we just want to, it's people's best interests at heart and it's us doing what's right for the consumer and our partners. Um, my favorite saying out of our branding that came out was we believe expertise without empathy is failure, right? This is in layman's terms, bedside manner, right? We can be the best experts at our craft and be great at mortgages, but if we can't get you on the phone and explain and empathize with the position that you're in that you may not understand what we're talking about or the acronyms we're using, or we're just assuming that we're doing a good job without really thinking through, okay, how's this person feeling in this conversation or in this situation? Um, that's failure to me, right? Um, I've been in the hospital with a bad bedside manner doctor and a good one, and I, I, I can tell you the difference is, is drastic, right? Um, so this is sort of the core value that we will look at every single day and make sure that we remember that we have to be experts, but we have to empathize with people because these are people, and this process is hard, and there's lots of questions, and we have to answer every single question we can before they can even think to answer it. And if we can do that, we can provide great service, right? And people are going to remember us. Um, Real quick on this slide, how does it affect our partners and clients now being Bison Ventures? Of course, that's something that we uh, had some heartburn on, right? Like, how are people going to perceive this? Like, are, you know, they're not going to want to work with us anymore. I mean, these are all just real emotions you go through and change. And, and like I said before, our whole team has come with us. So it's the same faces, the same voices. Um, you, nothing skips a beat. We've had no disruptions in our files and process. So I'm very, very thankful to say that since the six weeks of being launched, we haven't had a single file go sideways or anything uh, you know, go wrong where a client was hurt or a partner was hurt. It's, it's all gone very seamlessly and that's because we put a ton of work in up front to make sure this would go smoothly. Um, so uh, hopefully that makes sense, but that one's fairly simple. Real quick on our team, I just wanna show these slides. Some of these you know, faces are gonna look familiar to you and we also have some new faces. Again, we're very lucky to have all of these great people on our team that have helped us. I can't even tell you how much time and effort everybody has put into this to make this successful and to be excited about it and, to, and really to be the, uh, the wind behind my sales because I'm a people person. I need people to be around me and I need people to help and I want to collaborate. And I've just been even, I've, I've just been blessed that have all these people help us and really want to help us. Um, and our operations staff is unbelievable. Any of you guys that have worked with us know that um, the care factor's through the roof, right? I mean, it just, it just is. And that's something that it, it can be hard to find. And we've been really lucky to find really great people to help us with this. Um, the other thing I'm really excited about is at, right at our launch, we brought on a new 
uh, mortgage production team and branch from another mortgage company, the Brava team, and I'm really excited these guys are here. They align with our core values. They're just like us. Um, they, they've just been amazing. I warn them time and time again that you're going to start you're starting and transitioning as we're transitioning. You realize that, right? Like, it, you know, maybe some things we have to work through, but they're just like, let's do it. And I'll tell you, talk about people that want to go into the storm and just face it head on because they're dying for change and dying to work with people that, that they align with even at a different level. Um, hats off to these guys in it. And it was a great validation for us that they were excited about the Bison brand. They were excited about what we were about once we got into it with them. Um, and that's been really, really fun. So thank you guys for, for joining us. It really means a lot to me. And I do not take that lightly. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up uh, real quick. If you want to get information on us, we have a blog. I've never blogged before, but they tell me that people do it. Uh, there's Instagram. I think I Instagrammed one time. And then there's Facebook. I think I've been on my wife's Facebook a couple times. But um, we'll get all this out to you. Our website's bisonventures.com. You can go read more about us and kind of get more of a feel for everybody and what we're about. Um, and that's really it. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you dearly for being a support factor for us all of these years and believing in us and giving us the opportunity to, to help you grow your business, to help us cater to your clients, um, and to just be a resource because we know there's a lot of options out there in the mortgage industry and there's a lot of good options. Um, and we're, we're proud to be an option that people want to put on their list and make a phone call to. And I can tell you, this team doesn't sleep when they feel like things aren't good, right? We just care about people a lot. And I know, I know I've said that a lot, but um, that's sort of the thing that tugs on us, you know? And so I just want to be real about that. So anyway, uh, you guys have heard me talk enough. Thank you so much for, for joining on this call. Mom, please, uh, please let me know how it went. I hope it went well. And, uh, and that's it. And if you guys have any questions or you want to ask anything, you know, um, we're ready to go. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate you joining. Have a great rest of the week and a good weekend. And, uh, you know, end of the storm. Let's do this. Yeehaw.